Before we get into this video, I want to go ahead and put a very clear disclaimer at the beginning for anyone who may be new to this channel. This video is either an update for my Pan That palette, which heavily features a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette, or it is a video in which I am using products from companies I no longer support. There's been a lot of long overdue drama happening in the beauty community along with the supposed cancellation of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I did a live stream where I really put together all of my thoughts on kind of the most recent drama, though probably most of it is out of date. I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to hear my full long drawn out thoughts. But at the end of the day, I do not support Shane Dawson, I do not support Jeffree Star, and I don't support quite a few makeup brands at this point. Back when I did buy these products, I was interested in the makeup and I was trying my best to do what a lot of other creators can do, which is separate the art from the artist. I did my best to do that, but then I realized that I recognized a line and that once uh, a company or a creator or a person or a celebrity crossed that line, I could not support it and I couldn't separate the makeup from the company or the makeup from the owner or the art from the artist. and. It took a lot of reflection to get to that point. I reached that conclusion and I realized I had to apply that across the board. I couldn't pick and choose which celebrities, which influencers I was going to support and not support based on their actions and then their company's actions. So I had to apply that across the board. So as of now, I currently own quite a few Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, makeup products. I also have a few from other brands I no longer support, but that's basically the gist of this. And I don't want to advocate throwing away products that you've already bought, you've already spent the money. I want to advocate reflecting on your own actions and reflecting on how you move forward. So I advocate for using up uh, products from problematic people, problematic brands, using them up and then decluttering them and never purchasing from the brand again. I've seen a lot of people immediately take down their past support videos for these brands. I'm keeping mine up, not because I'm like making a lot of money on them. I usually make less than a dollar a video, but I want to leave them up so that you have a clear picture of where I came from. Because I did start out as someone who did their best to separate art from the artist so that I could enjoy makeup, which is a terribly shallow and horrible thing to do. Like we, these people, of which I used to be one of them, would excuse all of these behaviors or try to ignore these behaviors in order to what? In order to what? enjoy some YouTube videos, in order to have some pretty makeup. It's not like we have a shortage of makeup here, right? We have anti hauls and we have B-Wows that tell us there's so much makeup coming out every day. So that's what I advocate for. So I just want to go ahead and put this in the beginning of any video moving forward. If it's a Pan That Palette update or if it's any other video where I heavily feature um, a product from one of those brands. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if this gets repetitive, but I do want to make that very loud and clear, especially in light of recent events. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing a big update for my Pan That Palette for 2020, which is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. So, I mentioned in my last update that I was getting kind of sick of, what, of the shades that I had left in the palette, and I had already frankened about half of them and was really happy with what I had created, like my little blush palette. And I was on the fence for so long about whether or not to franken the rest of what I had left. I realized, uh, well, A, reading this comment, I'll throw it up right here, from um, Abby Elshman, and she said, As much as my little makeup hoarding comp completionist eye loves to watch entire palettes get used up by tiny increments over time, I fully understand why you would want to franken these into blushes, and I think it is all about what you prefer and what is going to help you use the products. That hit that hit, I don't know what I'm trying to say, that really struck me. That's what I'm trying to say. It struck me because I, I felt the same way. Like with my other Pan That Palette projects, with my other project pans, it's seeing the progress and actually being able to say, see the pan that was here, look, it's bigger here. Or like, oh look, I've got pan here. It's the visual representation of progress is what I think was like the most visually appealing part of a Pan That Palette. And by franketing these, at least in the way that I did into blushes, you kind of lose that aspect. But ultimately, the goal of this project was to use up problematic stuff in my collection. And what better way to do that than to completely transform it? 
So I franked in the rest of my palette. <laughs> That's a lie. I frankened everything but one shade. So let's go ahead and quickly run the slideshow of my palette up until this point. And this is my palette now. Look at it, guys. How pretty and clean is that? The only thing I left in here is the black Franken shade, which I'm still using daily to do my brows. And look, I, there's, this is going to last me a bit. This is probably going to last me the rest of the year. So yeah, it's... I mean, it looks pretty, all nice and empty like this. I've got that one shade, so I'm going to keep working on that just for my eyebrows because I like a nice dark, you know, brow. And... I'll be just about done with the actual packaging. So I frankened the rest of those remaining shades into my own little blush palette. Blush slash like contour face, a face palette. It's a face palette and I'm actually really happy with it. So before I show you my palette, let me go ahead and show you real quick how I frankened all the shades. in peace is where you draw me I don't know how you already forgot me you ran away with no regard we were so close but now we're far too bad
my breath away can you fix my music box the ribbons frayed you've gone astray can you fix my music box the dawn will move in the sun and stars So without further ado, my new face palette. How pretty is this? So the new ones that I franken just now are all over here on the bottom row. So I did a nice kind of brighter, I tried to make it a little bit lighter than these two, light blush shade. This one is a shimmer blush, which I'm actually wearing on my face today. It is very pretty, and I thought it would be a little too dark, but that's really pretty. And then, using the neutral shades, I made a bronzer and a contour. And I'm wearing the Franken bronzer, the Franken contour, and this shimmer blush today. And I'm just like really impressed with how they came out. I didn't just use the powders in the palette. I had to do a little bit of mixing. I brought in a Rimmel Stay Matte powder to mix with my bronzer shade. I brought in a little bit of a glowy blush, which is the Milani Luminoso blush, to mix in with my glowy blush right here. And they just turned out so good. Like, look, this looks like a face palette. <laughs> How pretty is this? They definitely pressed better with with the vegetable glycerin that I used. I used a little bit of vegetable glycerin with each one of these. Now I do know that as a humectant, and some people have told me they're really good to repress, and some people have said just to keep an eye on your makeup and it might be dangerous because they might they might mold. So I am gonna keep a close eye on these. I'm gonna sanitize these as often as I probably can and just really keep track of them. And so these were with vegetable glycerin repressed and these were not. So I really want to redo this purple shade. I'm probably going to add more purple too from like another palette. I'm thinking maybe an ABH palette. Mix in some more purple shades and then actually fill this up because this wasn't enough actual powder to fill the pan. But I am so happy with how this turned out. So this is what I'll be working with for the rest of this project and beyond. And the last thing that I will have to do within the actual packaging is finish up this black shade. I thought about repressing the black shade into a different container and like putting it inside of here. I thought that'd be a little bit too much trouble than it was worth. So <laughs> we're just gonna finish it up here. So yeah, that's everything. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm definitely feeling better about this now. It's not about just trying to rush towards a finish line of finishing up the palette by the end of the year. It's really about thinking beyond and thinking about what I'm looking for and what I want and how I'm using my makeup. And this for me is perfect. This is something that I enjoy opening up, I enjoy using, I enjoy reaching for, which is so much more than I can say for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below how your pen that palette is going and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.